But I'm a huge outlier Whoa. there. I know I'm a huge outlier there. You called out Destiny for lying. You definitely lied <laughs> out so many times, bro. Make sure my YouTube hero. How can you say that to me, bro? Bro, bro I, listen, I'm listen. subscribing from your channel right now. Are I you know, serious? I know. I've just lost 100 Bosnian subscribers right this moment. But no, I'm okay I... with it. You know, you could come back and have lost that fight. And I'm like, yeah, huh. I got jumped by like four dudes. They broke my arm, but you know, it. like you can do that and even like be bad and walk it off. But you're never coming back. Like, yeah, these guys jumped me, and yeah, they ran a train on my ass, and you know, the sh me. But here, I am. like that, it doesn't work the same way, right? You'd always feel horrible. Versus Destiny and I were talking about the comparisons in relation to. Which so he put out a, uh, him and Ayla put out a, or Ayla put out a poll on behalf of the conversation, asking people if they'd rather be jumped by two people and end up in the hospital with no permanent damage, or would you rather be non-violently by a man, no matter your gender? Um, and it, wild questions, okay. Uh, yeah, they're wild. But like we were having the debates, and again, I think all violence could cause PTSD, could cause harm, and I'm not trying to say that one is worse or better than the other. My positioning is like trauma. Is trauma. I mean, I mean, no, no, one is definitely worse than the other. Well, which one is it? That's what we want to know. So what do you think? Get, getting definitely worse than the other? Why? Uh, why? Because I think there's like a sort of mental violation. Um, so is this just, is this geared towards men or women? I mean, I think they're both pretty harmful. But are you asking me from? I think it's more harmful. It's harmful in a different way for men than it would be to be written. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's no direction I want to push you into. I'd rather you just speak, so I don't feel like I'm feeding you a line. I mean, you can feed me a line. I'll just disagree with you. I'm very okay. good at agreeing with you. I think we you, rare right. Abba L. I think this is probably true. I think most people would probably rather be beat up than. That's pro that's probably the case. But I, that's why I was asking why. I think most people would prefer that. I don't know, I feel like, I, never mind. I can't, I feel like my positions are clear, but maybe not, I don't know, I'm not sure. I don't know. Like, I feel like I said over and over and over again yesterday, didn't I say like, if you were to pull most people, didn't I say that on stream, if you were to pull most people, would you rather have the shit out of you, would you rather be like, lightly Most people would be like, I'd rather be the out of me. And I think Ayla's polls, I think even showed as much. Like, yeah, that's the position that I agree with. Already told me I, I can be lecturing, so. Okay, okay. So, well, in general, the poll question was specifically men assaulting any gender, men or women, so both got to vote. Or would you rather be mugged, whether you're a man or a woman, by men? So basically, we're trying to. The question is sort of like, are is the rapist man rapist and the man mugger scary? And which one would you prefer? Okay, and, and, and what do you think? Um, I would personally prefer to be um, mugged if no permanent damage because my rape left me with PTSD that I still have to deal with, which triggered the other day, and I yelled at my friend on the internet. Like I was, I was so in my feelings, Abba, and I'm like. This is something I'm still dealing with. Like, I still have to deal with it on a daily basis. You're allowed. You're allowed to yell at your friend. That doesn't, it's not a bad thing. Well, it's and not the greatest thing either, though. No, but I think, you know, like many relationships, there's ups and downs, and there's, you know, sometimes heated moments. As long as you guys can work it out afterwards, I don't think we've got a general. And we did. We really did. So, yeah, I'm pretty... Okay, fine. Well, okay, so does that inform your opinion, then? Do you feel like because you can work it out and people could be understanding, it would be better than being... Wait, so but you think being great is worse because it's a man? Okay, I mean, I mean, I mean, if I was... Okay, okay. So, let, let's just be clear. When you say non-violently raped by yeah. somebody, can you paraphrase because like i've had i had an experience once where i was sleeping and that woke up and i was inside a girl now was that like a deep violation yeah. honestly it didn't really bother me but it okay. happened um but i think do i think it'd be very different if she was like in my bum with a strap on like absolutely and if it was yeah. a dude it would also feel even more different so yeah i think all these things change the parameters of how i'd answer this question okay i need to ask you and you do not have to answer anything i ask you on stream these are personal questions did you feel like when you woke up inside of her that was an assault uh no but i, I think that's my way of handling it. it's not it's something that bothers me like, i know people are like no there's probably something i'm like no it really doesn't uh but you know other people are gonna feel differently about it so would you uh, want it to happen again uh we low-key there was some kind of hot about just waking up themselves <laughs> I mean, maybe if this person was like hideous i'd probably feel different it's kind of fucked up oh, to say in this era of like no all these things are terrible if you're asking me honestly what i thought about the experience like it wasn't other things okay and then is this a person who used to be a lover or is this a total stranger uh, it wasn't a total stranger. It wasn't a used to be a lover either. It's like somebody Oh, really? So, okay, I will fully accept the way you feel about the situation if that's the case. I know some people with similar stories who were men and they didn't feel as violated, but uh, what if it was a man and you woke up and let's say he was like blowing you or something? Okay, that's the we throw on hands. I mean, we, that's, that's <laughs> it. That's what you mean. Okay, so talk to me about that. Talk to me about that. Well, I mean, when you're, I mean, it's just a double thing. It's like, I don't even know how to answer that question. It's just, it feels like I'm being violated in a completely different way. Hmm. Maybe it's because, um, as a straight person, the idea of engaging in like, homosexual acts for me is like something I would never do. And so I think there's the double violation of not only someone doing something I don't want done to me from someone I don't want done to me from, mm -hmm. but also they're like pushing me down past the boundary I would have never crossed consensually ever. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, like I can imagine scenarios in which I would have woken up and allowed somebody to do that to me. Uh, you know, like like someone being on top of me or whatever. I'm inside of them. A woman specifically. Mm -hmm. uh, like I could have requested that beforehand. It was like a sex act I could have seen myself do. But yeah. the idea of a man forcing himself on me is just like, it's also like almost emasculated in a way. Mm -hmm.
Okay, so do you think this is what I was saying yesterday about points was yeah. and to give credence to it was that the social stigma against rape is why people have a harder time getting through the trauma. The social stigma men feel when being raped by a man is different than being raped by a woman. For sure. And so it's so okay. So talk to me about that because I kind of feel like if you feel it's traumatic, then the rape itself is what's traumatic, and the aftermath may help you get over that trauma or it may not. That having a supportive family could help you get over it, but that doesn't mean that the trauma couldn't exist. So I just wonder, like, is wait, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. What is the disagreement that you guys have? What did uh, you get to the core of it? Well, okay, the only place we fully disagreed on was whether or not women who were sexually liberated slash promiscuous had a uh, less traumatic time during the rape than the person who was maybe sexually repressed or more modest. I'm going to reiterate this for the 50 millionth time. I understand it's hard for people to understand, or maybe I'm just horrible at communicating, or I don't know. Um, or maybe I just give up on this completely. I don't know if a more promiscuous or more sexual open person would have an easier or harder time. I thought I said verbatim on, on stream. I thought I actually said specifically that it could actually be completely and totally the other way around. That a more promiscuous person or more sexually liberated person actually has a harder time dealing with rape because for them, um, they wouldn't like their values don't comport with like rape as much as like maybe a conservative person would be like Oh like boys will be boys. That's what men are like So it might be the case that a more sexually person has an actual harder time dealing with it Maybe that could be the case. I don't know my only wondering was how much did like those social views play into it That's that was my that's what I was wondering. That's it not saying that like one is necessarily true Just that I'm sure it has some impact. That's it It's <sighs> such a wild hypothetical. Um, okay but then, of course, okay. Well, is, is arguing because they're sexually repressed and they already feel shame surrounding sex and a right. violation of that sort would be worse for them? Right. Versus, and then they, okay. they might have a support system, but versus the sexually liberated woman might have a resource to go to. But I haven't seen that be the case, but maybe it could be. But then men brought up being mugged, and Destiny was talking about that, which I confused with getting into fights because I grew up in a different okay. environment. We, we, we don't have to get into the weeds and stuff. If we're just at the core of it, which is like, do women who are sexually liberated have an easier time with themselves versus men? I mean, I don't have any personal experience with that, so I couldn't imagine. But if you were to explain it to me logically, I could understand how that answer would come about. But there's probably a first hand experience that I'm missing in this regards. But I do mm. think like having an environment, having a, a more positive attitude on it might be able to help but I, I think the problem with this is it's such an emotionally charged topic and it's such a personal traumatic thing that it almost sounds like when you make that argument even if it may be valid it almost sounds like you're telling women who have the right thing to get over it you're sexually liberated it'll be really easier for you to get over it which is super yeah. insulting so I, 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 men, I, yeah. yeah I don't think it would go over well I think for, if you said it to men I don't think most people would care really what about like even gay men because like in that poll on Twitter it was amazing even the gay men in the audience were like yeah I'd rather be mugged than raped like who wants to be anally raped unconsensually like who wants that over yeah. being mugged so and you have to so imagine it, it, there's the extra layer right for you guys it's a violation of your boundaries for us it's a violation of the boundaries but if we're raped then it's also incredibly emasculating we mm. failed at the most basic thing that we're supposed to do which is protect ourselves and so I think like that aspect of it is very hard to come up it's like if a woman gets mugged she feels unsafe but it doesn't make her feel any less feminine or oh, you know, whereas a man if you get mugged it's like not only is it emasculating someone took your shit and punked you but it's also like you no longer feel safe in your constant paranoia so yeah. okay so do you think it would be because what i'm trying to figure out is i again i have a really hard time comparing traumas i feel really bad about trying to say that oh well you getting mugged isn't as bad as getting raped because like, i don't know that right like that could be very traumatic to a person maybe even worse than my rape even though like we could both get ptsd i'm trying not to cast judgment here yeah, but i do well, think yeah go ahead. i think we're just doing averages i think we're just saying on average i imagine that people who get mugged probably don't have as much of a traumatic experience as people get raped. i think that's a pretty easy one to make i think most people probably true okay how do you feel about this because like again we get lost in the sauce about the word jumped like getting jumped what does it mean if i said abba i got jumped what do you imagine happened uh it means that a couple people ambushed you or jumped you in the sense like there were multiple people beating on you um they could have beaten you extremely severely but it's still like a pretty good beating and they may have taken your stuff as well depending. okay um does that does like jumping automatically incite trauma yeah absolutely okay um does a fight like a street fight always uh is it the same for a street fight what do you imagine when i say street fight uh not necessarily yeah so if i think street fight i'm like two dudes duking it out basically like yo fuck you fuck you fuck your mama too but they start throwing hands <laughs> okay yeah. yeah but do you think a street fight would always elicit trauma uh, not necessarily in the same degree like maybe you could make the case but not necessarily no Okay, so and again, I'm speaking from my ass right now because I only have one example of being jumped and it's not me, it was my brother. Sure. And it was a story that I was really upset when I first heard it, but he told me not to be upset because to him it was just a fight. And I was like, how is this just a fight? They jumped you. And he was like, yeah, but like I cut him off. So he was driving on the freeway. He cuts off this car to go to the gas station and flips him off because my brother's an ass, okay? He's a complete ass. He's been fighting since he was in high school. Right. So he's an ass. He goes to the gas station and three guys get out of the car. He didn't realize they followed him and they jump him. And he comes home just and, and cuts all over him. And I'm really fucking mad. I'm like, he's an adult at this point. Hello? John Bugin, Zerka. What's up? What are we doing? Um, I'm listening to uh, two of my friends chat right now. Wait, are you coming to... Wait, never mind. Don't talk. Yeah, sorry, never mind. Okay. All right. Who are the friends? Is Abba and... Brittany and Abba, yeah. Is it good? Um, I don't know. Are you fucking high? Bro, drugs are bad for you, man. I'm not high. Well, I'm... What? I don't get high. You sound I think we should throw throw a fucking panel together right now, real quick. No, I'm. Oh, fuck. 
I don't know. Do you want to like put on some fucking bitches and fucking debate them to tears? Um, or do you want to chill? I'm just chilling right now. Jesus. Um. Yeah. What are you up to? How's life been? Just editing. Almost done this. Doc I'm making a whole documentary. And uh, Twitch. Just a few podcasts a week. But that's it. What do you do? Um. Just been playing games, you know. We had Anna on yesterday. She goes by Kimmy now. Yeah, I saw that. Um, how'd that go? She seems like she's doing better. Yeah, no, she said you guys are cool so I can make jokes again. I was like, thank God. Fuck, you guys were like, had problems for a year. Um, yeah, I wonder why. It was almost like there were people that were fucking <laughs> milking it hardcore. <laughs> it would've happened without me though. If I didn't exist. Maybe a little hey, bit. who said go off Masonic King? I that's actually gonna send me to hell. Don't ever call me that. Do you what? believe in hell, Steve? Nope. Hmm. What about you know like energy can't die off, right? It can only be transferred. Have you heard of that? Um a little bit. I mean it can spread out over time and kinda lose its effect, right? Isn't that what entropy that is? The thing is that n no object or person ever stops that vibration. Even when they die, the vibration's still, you know, existing. So it's like there is no death. Really? Is that interesting? <sighs> um, I don't know if that's true or not, but okay. Someone said, I believe in hell. It's any conversation with Zerka. Ha 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 ha. Nice. Yo, who do we have now that you're not cool with Lav Loon? Let's like... Uh, Hey, any bitches in chat want to debate? Any feminist bitches? Oh yeah, we need crazies to replace them. I don't know who. I have Green no idea. Pixie, she almost cried last time. Um, no, Pixie's cool. I don't think she'd ever go like full lab loon. Did you pipe Pixie? Did I what? Pipe sex? No. Why? Do you want me to? Is that what you think no, about at like, night? Uh, the people that I would you chill? Why would you chill with her if you're not gonna fuck her? <laughs> She's a cool dude. <laughs> uh, you could chill with a girl a couple times, but if you don't get any, just she's like you're totally losing money, bro. <clears throat> oh yeah. Like you're a nice guy. I feel like people take advantage of you for dumplings and shit. For dumplings? You know, for like when you go out, you pay for Pixie, don't you? Yeah, because I'm rich. I paid for you. <laughs> you fuck off. Am I piping well, I... you? <laughs> Am I interrupting? Because I'm just editing, so I kind of want to chill. I want to have some downtime with you guys. Yeah, chill away, dude. I'm just playing games. Okay, I'll, I'll, Chad, get your, get your questions. We'll read. I'll read them to Steve. This is your one chance to, the offensive ones that he ignores. I'll, I'll get them to him. Which chat am I reading here? YouTube chat. Okay. Sorry, guys. The first question is... I'm going fast. Slow down. This little bro is missing his fucking weapons upgrade. Because I killed his NG bay. No, no. Questions for <laughs> Steven. <laughs> This guy is gold. Thank you, Mush. But questions, questions. <sighs> yeah. Okay, which chat is more likely to have pedophiles, DGG or YouTube chat? Good question, dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's such an easy one. I love DGG, but come on. Those when, guys are so... When you play Mutaling, do you upgrade flying damage, upgrade, or bigger splash damage? I think you upgrade Carapace because lots of little marines are shooting little bullets, so the Carapace does a lot. But if you upgrade the attack, usually it's like 20 mutas hitting one thing. The attack upgrade doesn't help as much. You know, Steven, I was thinking, why is the legal age limit what it is? Like, when you look throughout the medieval ages, you look at different countries and stuff, like, how do you determine that cutoff point? It's just arbitrary. 18 is about what we've decided. Seems yeah, but that makes well me... well with, like, uh, school and everything, too. 
it's got to make you a little uncomfortable that there is no real, like, thing we can all cling to. So, technically, I mean, that you, someone could make an argument for 17-year-olds, right? No, no, somebody can make an argument for 13-year-olds. Somebody can make an argument for 25-year-olds. You can make an argument for any age. This is just what we've settled on. Well, what's the lowest uh, from any country? Like, wh which is the most pedo country? Isn't France, like, 14? The 14 meaning you could get with a 14-year-old? I, I think. I could be wrong. I don't know. I, I ask a libertarian. I don't know the age of consent in every fucking country. Mm. I think that's 14 for having sex with someone around their age, but I don't think it's for an adult like you. I don't know. What about this argument, like, if she's 18... And she's like got no hips and very skinny and you know looks like a little bo little fourteen year old boy. Mm -hmm. That's creepy. But if she's eighteen and got huge knockers and huge ass and very womanly and looks thirty, isn't it funny how we see age as number? But really, it's like, dude, we if when I stand next to Steven, I'm clearly older than you, just on face and how I look. Like I've, we don't age at the same rate, do we? Age of consent and whether or not somebody's a pedophile are two completely, totally different things that have no relation to each other, right? There might be a pedophile that's attracted to some adult women because they've got childlike features, right? And there's a lot of people yeah, that like abuse children that just do it because they're like, it's like convenient and they end up like abusing children that they babysit and stuff, but they're not really pedophiles, just like... Uh, that's what Mr. Girl said. He, cause... <clears throat> yeah. Like, you know those red pill guys who say 18 is the hottest chicks? Mm -hmm. I really disagree. I think 25 are the hottest because that's when they're peaking. Their bodies are like peaking hormonally and all that. But then they get angry because that's too old, I guess. And I'm thinking to myself, if you really like the young, young features, you're potentially a pedo. Like Mr. Girls, he likes that, right? Um, I'm not putting I'm words not in his to, mouth. I'm not here he to that. I don't, I don't know if he's a pedophile. I don't think he's a pedophile. Okay, hold on. Interesting conversation topic coming through. Hello, what's up? Hold up. I, I was going to ask what she said. Because she said, I said, there's no shot you said that. You did not say you'd rather... Hold up. You... I don't know what you're saying. Your mic is cutting out half your words. Okay, so she said she doesn't know. She believes. She can't remember clearly, but she said, Destiny would rather get graped than punched in the nose. And I'm like, there's no shot. That's true. Then just punched in the nose? What kind of punch are we talking oh, about? Oh, okay. Oh, well, they got my nose broken? About? Yeah, I'd rather get raped 100%. But I'm a huge outlier Whoa! there. I know I'm a huge outlier there. But yeah, 100%. That's the easiest decision in the world. Yeah. Abba. Okay. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to respond. I mean, listen, if somebody... Uh, Wait, what? You'd rather be raped? <laughs> yeah, easily. Oh like, my God. Are you fucking lying, dude? Yeah, what are you fucking lying? What are you talking about? Okay. Wait, is this Zerka? I have yeah. always wanted to talk to Zerka. You're crazy. I love you. I no, no, we need, we, we, need, hey, we need to get to the bottom of this. Are you guys letting him get away with that? He's clearly lying. He's been hit in the face before. Well, you have no idea what my background is, firstly. Okay. and Even no one ever has ever struck you in the face. You said you can't go through that again. You'd rather be raped? <sighs> anally raped? Are you uh, retarded? Are you crazy? Okay, well, hold up. Do you think you would enjoy your grape? No, no of course not. <laughs> no, not if it's rape. You don't enjoy it. Of course not. So like a dude just ravaging your bum hole, you feel like that's much easier to handle than. than Damn, Abba, I don't think, you're I, extreme. I don't, yeah, this is AIDS. Um, that's extreme, Abba. You can't say that on YouTube. Good one. Uh, ravaging your bum hole is definitely acceptable on YouTube. You <laughs> sure. Been Personally, I think I I wouldn't care that much. Um. I said this on my podcast. But, yesterday. I, but uh, having like a nose broken or whatever, and going through the whole process of going to the hospital, doing all that shit, I wouldn't want to. It'd be annoying or whatever. Yo, Steve, people flipped because I said this, but... Stop, if I had a hold on, Grady and Abbott had an interesting conversation. I don't need your coke down This is on topic. Ass. This is on topic. Uh, if I had a choice between having a finger up my ass or killing myself, I would kill myself with Thank a you. smile on my face Good. every single time. Okay. No, you wouldn't, Zarka. No, I swear wouldn't. on Jesus' name. Okay, how, how, how about this hypothetical? A finger in your bum or losing your legs? I'll lose my legs. What the fuck? <laughs> You guys don't believe in. You guys just don't believe in trauma. That's the problem. Okay. Tra trauma is real. 
Bro, <laughs> if a girl ever joke nah, 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 you, you, with my ass, I would go to jail. That's the first time I'd fucking beat up a woman. All right, you, you, I, listen, now I'm starting to believe you secretly like that shit and you do it all the time. Because here's my thing. You called out Destiny for lying. You definitely no, lying no, out your no, ass no, right no, now. You probably got a finger no, in your no, ball right now. You can't I know, so what, you, I know what you're trying to say, but Abba, this is going to sound really weird. I had a nightmare once where I did get raped and I felt the pain. Right, and right. so it penetrated my psyche for life. Do you understand? Like, I had that nightmare. Do you feel like you have to say this because you're Bosnian? No, bro. <laughs> this doesn't make me sound cool, bro. I'm saying this makes me sound kind of gay. <laughs> but I, you've never had a nightmare where you're like getting raped? No. Or you've never had a, a sexually weird nightmare? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah, nah, I've never experienced that. I, honestly, bro, I, I think I, I want you to logic brain this and just be honest for yourself for a second. You would rather lose your. F okay, let's say if it's a woman putting a finger in your bubble, right? She just okay, no, index no legs, finger. but I could easily pull the trigger on my fucking head. That's painless. <laughs> okay, so you would not you would not give up your legs. I don't know about that one because then I have okay. to like live like that. Okay, 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 okay. But you <laughs> he would, would give up, saying... he would give up his legs and then kill himself after. That's what you're doing. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> there you go. No, the point I'm trying to make is, you know how guys say like, "Oh, I've had a girl like play with my ass a whole a bit." Uh, that's literally trauma speaking. <laughs> that's no, literally he's that every time. That, that's literally that's literally someone self-reporting trauma. Like you had a girl play with your asshole. What kind of oh, straight Zirka, guy are Zirka. you? Zirka, yeah. Wait until I use a strap on on you, and then tell me you don't like it. Don't. Wow. You know, Go. Brittany, careful, Brittany. Don't hate on it yet. Careful. <laughs> Do you mean consensually? Like consensual? All anal is rape? Is that what you're saying? For men, it, that's what he's saying. All, yes. all girls who convince their guy to try their finger, all those girls should be in jail for life. No, I'm not taking yes, you seriously. No. No, no. Look at the studies. Most men say they don't like it. They're doing to impress the girl because it's trending. You know how it's trending for you liberals to lick each other's dirty assholes? You know, you guys don't just yeah. eat okay. You okay, finger you, you, each other's you, assholes too. You gotta, so I, listen, I'm so ashamed of it, but I love getting my ass ate. So I tell, I have to try to convince women to do it. I don't buy you that. Think you, you, think, you think they are convincing me to convince them? You've never had your ass ate. Come on. So many times, bro. That's fire. Bro, share my YouTube hero. How can you say that to me, bro? Bro, bro, I, listen, I'm not listen. subscribing from your fucking channel right now. Are you I know, serious? I know. I just lost a hundred Bosnian subscribers right this moment, but no, I'm okay I... with it. I'm okay. So with when it. did that first happen? You were like 19 when you, like, it happened. Yeah, to yeah, a young yeah, kid. yeah. Man, it was so traumatic, man. I, she was 40. I was 19. She said, "Bend over," and then she just started ravaging my butthole with her tongue. That was fire. How about that? Means you're on all fours, getting your ass hit. I know, bro. The most emasculating thing, man. I felt like I was getting connection with my, my, my inner dog, but let me tell you, man, that shit felt good. How boring is sex to you people that you do this stuff? Not boring at all. I think it's very exciting, actually. Okay, yo, here, this is something you can judge. When my ex uh, canceled me, she was like crying on stream and she said, I only banged her in one position for a whole year. Is that weird? To only bang in one what, position? It, what's the good. position? What's the position? Do like doggy. Doggy's good, yeah. but like only one it, the whole it, time? No missionary? No looking her in the eyes? N people couldn't believe that I did one position the that whole That was your girlfriend? That was your girlfriend? Yeah, yeah. So I'm, I'm thinking to myself, am I the only guy on earth that does one position for the whole year? Never! One, not even Valentine's Day, none of that. Like, one! And, you know, people attack me for that. They're like, whoa, you're kind of like a psychopath. No, that's yeah. not that weird. That's not that weird. If you don't like her, I think that's not weird. If you like her, I think that's sucks. Like but me, when I used funny. to have clients and they would pay, I would tell them, like, you have to pay for any extra positions. And they'd be like, oh, I don't have the money. So I'm like, all right, well, then you only get one. But I think that you... scenario makes sense. But if, so you, you... if you love the person, like, you can't just do one position. You got to do a little bit more. But two, yeah, because a lot of people said I'm vanilla. I think you just don't give a fuck about her. No, no, I cared. But uh, I'm not vanilla. We, we did like, uh, like, like grape play. Gotcha. C and C consent non consent. We love that. Yeah, yeah. What's that called? C and C consent non consent. So, so I'm not. I'm not boring, right? Did you only do the C and C from the back, like only doggy style? Yeah. 
Yeah, okay. I guess I'm vanilla. <laughs> did, she, did she ever turn it around and do it on you just to like, you know, for you to experience it, the CNC? No, you know what's funny? <laughs> I I don't understand this, but I don't think I've ever done any like liberal positions or any of that ever in Doggy my life. Doggy style is pretty liberal. It's it's what do you no. mean? CNC is a liberal <laughs> pastime, really. The conservatives and the liberals have this in common. We both love to play rape. Yeah, is that like every human? I think we like to have safe scenarios to play out scary moments in a in a different way. I think we like to have power dynamic shift, and I think we seek intimacy in different ways as long as we know we're safe after. I, I asked her that. I asked her, and, you know, I talked to many girls, and they always say why rape play is so exciting is because it's her saying, I fully trust this guy. Yeah. Like, so the most cozy she can feel. But yeah. when I looked at the studies... 85% of women have a rape fantasy with a stranger that they've never met. It's not even their fucking husband. So 85% of women have a rape <clears throat> fantasy. 85! That's... I don't think that means what you think it means, John. Yeah. It doesn't mean husband. It doesn't mean think? John do you... Zerga. It doesn't mean that they genuinely want to be raped by a stranger. Like, and they would like it. That's not what that means. Do they mean their partner is playing as a stranger? Because no, that's no, 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 no. It, 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 whatever you're reading they probably means that the person like has a rape fantasy, but it's still going to be like in a safe way, right? Like, the ideal rape fantasy is you get raped actually, but like the person doesn't actually like go any further. And it's like a Fifty Shades of Grey thing, right? But it doesn't mean that if somebody says, yeah, that would be really hot if it happened in a fantasy, that they actually want to get raped in real life. Those are two totally different things. Zerka. Right, well, yeah, the fantasy but, is in reality, right? Yeah. It's play. Exactly. You're just playing yeah. as an it's adult play. Yeah, like impregnation fetishes when you reach a certain age, I think, become hot for everybody. <clears throat> like, it's super hot. Fact, but if a girl, but if a girl, reading, but if a girl were to send me a fire. text afterwards and say, hey, I think I'm pregnant and it's yours, I would kill myself, <laughs> right? So it's two different things. <laughs> okay, now what about this? Have you noticed, like, People say it's sexist when I say, oh, it's great if she sucks okay, dick. Is this over? The, are we doing this the, now? Hey, the man should not eat pussy because think about it. If I'm acting all feminine, that's not the sexy Zerka that Chad wants. They want the masculine Zerka. So I'm, I'm not going to do feminine shit where I eat pussy. What the fuck? Yeah. What am I, a fucking dog? I like a feminine man personally, but that's just me. No, no woman likes a feminine. Any man. guy that says he doesn't like to eat pussy is gay. You're gay, bro. But that's cool. I accept you. But that's gay shit. Okay. How is that gay? It's what? gay shit. Maybe you have to texture. Actually, a lot of people I know with autism don't go down because the no, texture. No, it's is just gay shit. Weird. If you're a guy and you're oh. out here saying shit like that, oh yeah, I'd never eat pussy. You're gay. But that's cool, dude. Welcome to the club. Be gay. Be gay with I'm, me, okay? I'm 28. I'm 28 years old, and I've never had to eat pussy. Like, yeah, I know. That's great. Because you're, you're looking for your dream dick to suck. You know, it's okay. It happens. <laughs> But Steven, you have to eat it every time. <laughs> you don't have to, you know, but if you're straight, you're maybe drawn to it. But listen, you're just looking for that good uh, 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 dick I, that you're I, looking I, for. That's fine, man. So I, I just, know, it's just funny. Like facetious. when you're eating, when you're eating pussy, do you guys feel like, uh, like, uh, like you're her pet? I feel like <laughs> I am going to rock this woman's world right now. That I am going to give her every what? reason to like move off the pillow. No, no, but if you're a guy, you're supposed to be masculine, I thought. It's not... I don't know why... I'm not sure that masculinity or femininity plays a role in, in Okay, so, so how, far, how far are you going to take it? Can I can I also wear a tutu dress? Or just eat pussy? I, how feminine I mean, do I got to be? Should I wear a fucking pink tutu dress? See? You, 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 you draw the line at a tutu dress. No, I mean, I like men in dresses, but I'm saying, what do you have to wear a dress for? Just go down on her. Just, like, be naked. Just be clothed. Just doesn't matter. You're I'm talking to the boys. Matter. Destiny, oh. Abba, they'll say, I'll never wear a tutu dress, but eating pussy's fine. If you could get the best sex out of your life and all you have to do is wear, is wear a tutu dress, you're crazy not to. It'd be crazy not to wear the tutu dress. How do you even maintain erection doing submissive shit? I don't even get that. Ask well, part one is try not being gay. <laughs> it's a good it's start. like me going to bench press and then yeah. I start like licking on the bar. True. <laughs> it's like it's bench press time, bro. You gotta fuck that bitch. I don't know. Maybe I'm vanilla. What's no, it taste just... like? Deliciousness. Oh, All the time? Everything. I've never had bad oil. I've never had... I don't I know. Really Destiny, you don't eat ass, though. <laughs> Why do you think that? Oh, you eat ass? That's what your mom likes, you know? 
You know, shit comes out of the assholes. <laughs> when piss comes out of dicks, you still let your girl fucking suck it. Yeah, but I'm not sucking. <laughs> you, you you be kissing her afterwards. No, he probably makes her go to the fucking bathroom and rinse her mouth out and everything. Probably. Abba, yeah. you got a million subs. You're telling me you eat the box still. Can we, this, do we, hold on, Abba, if, Brittany, if you guys are in here, I wanna have, like, a good conversation, not, like, get it retarded down to Zerka's level of fucking autistic stupid shit. Uh, if you guys have a topic you wanna talk about, we can talk about it, but I can okay, do these I'm editing, keep going. fucking retarded convos with Zerka anytime. <laughs> I don't need him dragging you down to it. Okay, I've got time, I've got about an hour, so I'm here if we wanna have more of a discussion. I don't know if you, did you watch me and Abba at all? Uh, I started to, and this fucking clown popped in, and now I don't Okay, know, just... I think, I think... I think like a, uh, I think the conversation went in the direction you had originally really wanted it to go into, which was to ask those like hypotheticals. So yeah, I'm down to have it. Um, but do, don't you think it's interesting that we all have different experiences where like, I don't know if you're really serious, Steven, that you'd rather like get raped than punched in the nose with a broken nose. <laughs> but sure, like, I, that's interesting. I, I, yeah, I can, it, like I can say that I'm an outlier there. I don't know what else to say. If you think I'm just lying, but, that's, you can think but I'm lying. The reason you no. said was kind of stupid, though, just in the sense that the, like, the reason why is because I don't think I would carry much trauma from like uh, adverse or rapey sexual interaction. I don't think I would. With a man or a woman, does it matter? No, I don't think. Well, I mean, like, okay, it's the, I'm the, fucked the, in the head. So with a woman, I don't know if a woman could rape me. Maybe she was really ugly and had a huge <clears> fucking strap on. I don't think I would ever care. I've bitten some bullets on some pretty big fucking ham beasts that I've gotten catfished by before, and I fucking went through it, and it was pretty traumatizing. But I mean, fuck it. Um, yeah. Yeah, I, I just oh. don't think that, that that's gonna let's a little bit of a toxic masculine thing to say. These better not be mutilists. Um, yeah, but I think Abba actually said something similar, right? Where it's hard to imagine as a man, like if you woke up with a Roman, woman riding you, I think I'd be like pretty annoyed. Um, but like, I, I don't think I would carry much with me there that I would care much about. Yeah, because I don't think the harm there is like somebody destroyed me or somebody violated my sanctity or like I, I didn't feel unsafe afterwards. If that makes sense. It never felt like that's not a situation I couldn't get out of. Um, and so I don't know. For me, it's not the same thing. I don't as think that. Pity. I don't think that matters, actually. Oh, I, I do. I think if you feel helpless in the experience, then I think that's completely different than something else. True. Like when I think if of I were a to dude, if I were to, if I, if I, go ahead. If I were to ask you, would you rather be raped by like a woman strong enough to like hold you in place, or would you rather be raped by like a weak man who's gonna like do his thing and finish and then walk away at the end? Huh? Repeat. So you're saying that like the captivity part is like what's stressing you out or whatever, but like let's say that it's just like you're locked up and you can either get raped by like a really weak man or like a really strong woman. I feel like you'd still gravitate towards like the strong woman. Like if it was somebody that could theoretically beat you up as a woman. I I, I think that for men, I think it's the mental thing of one being penetrated and then two having it be a man is what makes it really oh, fucking. Oh, Steven. Well, let, let yeah, me, yeah, but the me, only I, way a man could do something to me that I didn't want is I allowed it. So so if you're asking me like, do I think it'd be worse having it done by a man versus a woman absolutely i think it's way worse having it done by a man yeah. people can feel differently i don't really care i would much rather it was a woman because i think it's just it is a different implication now if she's so strong that she pins me down against my will and i really don't want it in that moment and she's just doing it to me yeah i probably would feel emasculated to the degree but i don't think i'd feel as violated as if it did a man did it for sure that's interesting though because when you say emasculated it seems like the so the it's not the experience itself it's like the fact that it's a woman versus a man doing it it's like what Changes it or what? What is the feeling? Uh, partially, that it's a mixture of both who's doing it, what gender they are, and also um, the weight. No, <laughs> don't don't, don't, it, don't even respond to him. Don't even respond yeah, to him. Yeah, Sorry. But, but oh, just like this idea, the idea of feeling <laughs> helpless in that scenario. You know, I have no agency. I think that's sure. Okay, so let's. Here's like a question. Okay, let's say that you um, let's say that you're just like the, okay. All of these examples are very triggering. If this is like a problem for anybody, please let me know or whatever so that we don't get fucking insane. There's like a bunch of screaming here, okay? So uh, just saying that to get the other way, okay? Let's say that you're locked in a contraption, okay? And then somebody's gonna come behind you and rape you and it's either gonna be a man or a woman with a strap on. All, all else equal, you can't move, you're restrained or whatever. Does it change in your mind if it's a man or a woman doing it or at that point is it equalized to you? No, 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 absolutely changes. It's still a for a woman. Okay, that's why I'm saying I don't think it matters the, the pressure or the being locked or whatever. There's still something fundamentally different about like a man doing it versus a woman. It's not like the oh, strength yeah. of the domination aspect. Yeah, that's what I was Oh, thinking. no, no. Th th that's definitely true that it's mm -hmm. different um, uh, between the genders. Absolutely. I think what also adds to that, if you're in a scenario where you feel helpless, I think it does change the dynamic a little bit because you feel like you couldn't do anything as a man when you should be able to. Because I think part of being a man, at least like in the traditional sense, is that you're able to 
defend yourself or defend the people close to you. If you feel like you can't do that, then that's also another layer of manhood that you feel as well. Sure, I don't disagree. I think, um, and then there are ways that that apply to women as well in terms of feeling helpless in an area because you're probably somebody that you thought you could trust and now you're vulnerable and now somebody's taking advantage of that for their own pleasure. It's, there's a whole yeah. bunch of stuff with that that is shitty, yeah. Yeah. Brittany, were you trying to chime in? Not necessarily. I think that ultimately, because I'm such like a individualist in my head, I think just like it's going to impact the individual as it impacts the individual. And I'm not here to decide like what should impact you more or less. After the validation, then we can discuss whether or not our emotions are in a proper place. And then whether we can reframe how we feel about our emotions. But it's weird hearing you guys talk about how anal rape would be so bad with a man. But I'm bisexual, so I'm like, I'm. you could even say I'm pansexual. Like, I'm not really focused on the gender of the person raping me. My brain just like, it's the fact that I just don't want to do it. And I'm like now being forced to do it, which is so awful that I, for me, the gender just possibly doesn't matter. That's as possible. much as. But, but yeah. you remember what we talked about before. I, I told you, like, for you, I don't, like, yes, there's some women who feel less pure or maybe mm. less whole. But I think I, I think women are probably yeah. going to have an easier time, like, not having to feel like their entire femininity is completely robbed of them. Whereas a man, I think, if you told any man he got inly raped by somebody when he didn't, I think most men would feel like less of a man, absolutely. There's also, so think here. I, I think there's a big thing that plays into this with the different ways that men and women view sex in general. I think that in general, men, Sex for us is a more external process, assuming you're not gay. Like we have an organ that comes out of our body and goes into somebody else. And I think that in general, we tend to try to take sex. Um, we're not in the position of like protecting it. Women tend to be like guarding sex. Like, okay, well I dole out sex to men that I think are worthy of it. And men try to chase sex. So it's, it's strange for a guy like just on its face to be like, somebody's gonna come and take sex from you. Because the guys generally think, well, I would almost always give sex to anybody. Whereas for a woman, you're generally like not giving sex to anybody, you're more selective for who you dole it out to. And it's an internal process because something's entering your body. I think that those two things have a heavy impact on how you view somebody um, in, in, a, in a rape, I think in general. So like when you, when you talk about like a woman, you wake up and a woman is riding you, like you're technically, you're still inside her. It could be a rape experience, like you didn't ask what you didn't want it or whatever, but the process is so externalized and everything that I think we just our engagement with it is like almost on a physical level it's different yeah mm. I could see that for sure I guess like yeah all that I for me like I'm very sensitive to like the idea of being impacted against my consent basically about anything though not too much like I can handle a lot like a lot of unconsensual things happen on a daily basis like an old lady touches you at the grocery store it's like okay I didn't consent to that but it's fine it's no big deal I'm not threatened here so like the threat I think is a part of it but also like I think it's just, I don't want to compare people's traumas, but I, I, you're, you're bisexual destiny. So uh -huh. do you think it's the, so just to clarify, it isn't the gender of the person. It's the, uh, chance for violence or escalation. But as a woman, when you're being raped, like there's always that escalation if you're raped by someone stronger than you. So there's always the chance for death or violation in that way. So do you guys think if you were raped anally by a man and it was nice, <laughs> would that change things? It was nice. Yeah, like like Ayla's uh, uh, non-violent rape, whatever that means. Like you would you you didn't feel it, you don't remember it. Like how do you feel about that idea? Like for me, I still think it's as bad. But for some people, they might think it's better because you don't remember it. Well, I mean, if you don't remember like, it, by definition, it can't be bad because you would never remember it. Or you would. Well, no, because you usually have the physical trauma from it, like vaginal or anal tearing. You have to go to medical professionals. Well, she just said. STI. She, she just didn't you just say that it was a gentle rape or whatever. <laughs> Well, I mean, that I don't even think, okay, fine. Like, what? It, oh, God, how do you have a gentle rape? See, I don't think that's possible. I don't think there's, like... I, I there's like, definitely differences. There's a complete giant difference between someone beating you over the head and punching mm -hmm. you in the face while they're taking over you. And then somebody you know, or some, maybe, maybe some of you don't, but, like, I, I think there's a difference between those. Now, we can just say all of the rapes are bad, and that's fine. We all agree on that. But I think you can agree that some, th some of these forms of rape are worse than others. You don't believe that? I, uh, I mean, that's obviously true, I would say, yeah. Yeah, I, Brittany, know what my hierarchy is, but I don't want to project that onto other people because I don't think it's objective. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I think we can make generalizations and they don't apply to every individual, but I think we still have that conversation. I would say this, I think what Destiny said was pretty true earlier, because I'm Brittany, I'm curious, if you, if you woke up, okay, and you had a strap on on you and you were inside a dude, would you feel like that's as traumatic as someone being inside of you? Are you talking about me? No, I'm asking Brittany. 
If Brittany um, had it, I, I, I'm just curious. I feel like what Destiny said about the external versus internal thing is kind of true, but physically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do believe the penetration makes a huge difference, which is yeah. why I only constitute rape as like penetrative, anally, vaginally, but that's not fair to a lot of people who feel like their rape is more than that. So I want to validate those people, obviously. But yeah, I think it wouldn't be as traumatic as my personal assault was, because that was different. Yeah, it was way worse having something inside me. So, so I think that's a, a big portion of this conversation. I never thought about it that way, but I think Destiny kind of nailed it now, right? I think. The idea of something penetrating is drastically different than doing yeah. something external. Well, that's why I'd rather be mugged than raped again. Because it's like, well, a, a, a mugging happens on the outside of my body. Like, even if they cut off my toes or something, it's not inside. It's not the same. But mm. that feels discrediting to people who have had that violence, and I don't want to do that either. But for Brittany, yeah, that seems less bad. I think for most what? people, that seems less bad. I don't know why we're so worried about discrediting. We can say that, like, something is bad, but it's still not as bad as something else. Or maybe that's just, I'm an asshole. I don't, I, don't, I have no problem, no, like, saying something dude, like that. Like, Brittany's trying to be inclusive of every individual Thank experience. You. Okay. I just don't yeah. know. I also don't know, because I don't believe in generalizations, because there's 8 billion people on the planet. But so I don't know how what's we not, more. Can we generalize people having two legs? True. Yes, for sure. Absolute 100%. There there are certain things that I think make sense, like, you know what I mean? But for my brain, assault is so personal and different that everyone has a different relationship to violence that I'm not sure that it could be the same or not. Like, I'm sure someone who is molested could have the same amount of trauma as somebody who is vaginally or anally raped, even though in my head, I would put molestation above, I would rather be molested than raped. Brittany would. But how could I tell those people that, hey, at least you only got molested? Well, That's you wouldn't because you'd like. recognize that like everybody's background is gonna play a really personal role. Um, in terms of what yeah. happened, but again, like those backgrounds could be generalized too, right? That like somebody with some background might not have as negative a response to something as somebody with a different background or whatever, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. I just, yeah, I want to be inclusive and remember that people experience things in ways that I don't. Um, but that's why I think our initial conversation got muddled. One, because I was triggered, and two, because I was hearing the wrong message. Like I was hearing that you were almost saying, you know, like things were less bad, but like that is the conversation to be had. Why do you think people would rather be mugged than raped? Like, isn't that interesting? I, yeah, I mean, I think it's interesting. I think the reason why is because um, there's a whole bunch of, uh, there's a whole bunch of things surrounding rape that make it fundamentally different than like fighting, right? Like, so firstly, like if you're, if you're fighting somebody, you, te you tend not to fight for fun. Right, but like if you get raped, you do a sex for fun, right? So rape has the chance of ruining an activity that you otherwise would like to, I would imagine, continue enjoying. Whereas like fighting, I mean, maybe if you're a professional fighter, maybe getting mugged can ruin boxing for you, but rape can carry over into like, just like things that are supposed to be fun in life too, which sucks. Um, there's also the fact that like, usually if you're getting jumped or you're fighting, it's strangers that are fucking you up. Whereas for rape, usually you put yourself in a very vulnerable position, especially as a woman, and now somebody's taking advantage of that. Getting jumped isn't generally the same thing, but I'm willing to bet that people that get jumped because their friends set them up probably have a way worse experience trusting people than people that just get jumped by strangers on the street, right? That'd be more closer to getting raped, you know? So I just want to clarify, because statistics show that you most likely will know your rapist, you're saying that that feels m more like a thing you put yourself into than a mugging that seems impersonal and by a stranger. I just want to make sure I heard that right. Yeah, you put I think being in, violated no, by somebody. No, hold on. That you put yourself into? No. Okay. <laughs> just to just be clear. Clarifying. Yeah. What I'm saying is that when you are having sex with somebody and they rape you and you have a personal attachment to that person, there's a person that you are, when you when a woman has sex with a man, you are in, endowing him with a ton of trust, a lot of trust. And for them to rape you, they're taking advantage of your trust in the worst way possible because they're stealing sex from you, they're making you feel fucking horrible while raping you, and they're doing it because they're in a vulnerable and privileged position that you've put them in. Not because you put your, uh, you said put yourself in that situation. When you say that, I don't know if you're saying like women deserve to get raped. That's not what I'm saying. No, no, no. I'm saying that when you have well, sex with somebody you trust, you're, you're in a position where you've given them a whole bunch of trust and then they're abusing yeah. it oftentimes. That's what I mean. See, this is where I'm an anomaly as well because I did not personally like know my attackers. So I don't have a relationship. Like I don't even know, like it's, I don't have the same versus other people I know. They, they know the name of their attacker. They know where they're living. They can find them on Facebook. Like I don't have that. So I, I like literally just stopped going to that area where I used to live and like sure. I stopped hanging out. So I'm trying to figure out if like certain types of rape are more similar to certain types of mugging versus other types of, and that's why there's like a little bit of a trauma overlap or not. Cause again, 
in order from I don't want to say like rape is worse or being mugged is worse. It's like even taking that poll sounds like we're saying being mugged is better than being raped. But like they're both horrible. Yeah, but things so, can still be better than the other thing. Like I mean, it sounds better to say, but could they be generally truly? Yes, of course. Yes, for absolutely. sure. With with some things, but with I don't know. I'm having a hard time with the rape thing because like, if rape via rape meaning violent rape in my opinion, like not stealthing or anything like that, which I consider sexual assault. So I don't. That's a problem too. Is like what is rape? Because okay. I'm only imagining being held down and saying no, don't do this, and someone doing it anyways. Mm -hmm. Versus some people in my audience um, call their rapes rapes, but like when they ask that person to stop, they did. So then the question is like, are we having different relationships with our? That's sexual assault for sure. And that's definitely molestation. But again, if you can ask your attacker to stop and they do, what are we talking about here? Well, I mean, a that's mugging, a, yeah, what, what is rape? That's a fundamentally different question, but I don't think that's related to necessarily what we're talking about. It's just what's being, what's worse, like being raped or being mugged. I mean, if, we, if, we, if you're going that route, we could probably agree that on the whole spectrum of rapes, that like there's a whole bunch of rapes at the very bottom end that are not as bad as being mugged, right? So like stealthing, where you say, hey, are you fucking me with an economy? And they're like, yeah, and you're like, get the fuck off me, and they get off. I mean, some people would consider that rape, but it's probably not as bad as like getting your arm broken, right? Versus like when you go up the scale, for the majority of the human population, I believe, the majority of the human population, when given a choice between like getting jumped by three people and having the shit beat out of you versus getting anally raped for five minutes, I think a lot of people would chose to get jumped. I think they'd say, fuck yeah. it, I know there's more damage and everything, but like there's so much mentally for men and Ooh. emasculation and, and mentally for women and trust and vulnerability that go on with that type of right. rather they just like, yeah, fuck it, I'd rather Why? just get jumped. If I, if I, if I would like, uh, so imagine some dude mugs me and breaks my arm, you know? If I got a tier list, that's going into B. But like, if a big prisoner comes up from behind me and just takes over my bumble, that's going to S tier in terms of trauma. I mm -hmm. just think, um, and then we, we can categorize those. Things. There's even, even though, like some, yeah. There's even some weird masculinity things that go into it too, where like, like, like your brother saying, like, oh yeah, like you know, you know, you could come back and have lost that fight, and be like, yeah, huh, I got jumped by like four dudes, they broke my arm, but you know. It. Like you can do that and even like be bad and walk it off, but you're never coming back. Be like, yeah, these guys jumped me, and yeah, they ran a train on my ass, and you know, the shit me. But here, I am. like that, it doesn't work the same way, right? You'd always feel horrible. Um, you Wait, don't even get wasn't any that the original conversation we were having? Because I felt like you were under the impression that getting jumped and mugged and hit in the nose was better than getting raped, but you're saying no. No, no, I, I first or of all, when you say trained. when you say better, <laughs> that's a really weird way of framing it. Sorry, I'm saying uh, I think most it's people. It's not as traumatic. Yeah, most people, it's not as traumatic getting jumped, probably, as it is getting raped. I think that's what the vast majority of people would say. Every guy would agree with that. Yes. Every Every man on this planet would 100% agree with that. Yeah. Okay, but you guys would stop it when it came to, like, would you rather die or get raped? I, I would. I think there are some men that would rather die. Yeah. But then you ask those same guys, would they rather lose their legs or get raped? And then a lot of them will change their answer. So, like, I, I think some people don't view death as nearly as scary as they view some other things. And yeah. in that case, the, the idea of being robbed of their manhood is, is as good as dying in a lot of situations. And I think a lot of men really do believe that. Like, some dudes are so tied to their masculinity, they actually suicide themselves after getting great. That I mean, like, was, yeah. yeah, look at the whole, like, it's like, in a way, it's kind of like honor culture stuff a little bit, right? Like, you would, you die for your name, you die for your honor, you'd... Yeah. 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 Absolutely. Yeah. There's even women like that. I know women from like secular countries who, after they've taken, had their virginity taken from them by force, like they feel unmarriageable. They feel like they're not deserving. That they're sullied. Like even though it's not their own fault, they carry so much shame with that. They they, they choose death. So that's yeah. a real thing that people do choose. Uh, now, for a lot of other folks who are not nearly as tied to the idea of shame and things like that, it's probably not as intense. But you know, depending on what background you come from, like that goes deep. Yeah, I wonder like how many of us, uh, I organized that my brain as kind of like, you know, facts of life. So on the macro, of course, like someone has to be raped and it just happened to be me. So it's not personal, that's life. And then I go down to the micro where I feel like, okay, but yes, this thing happened and now I have this trauma. So now I have to fix it like a broken ship, go to the repair man. And then I go to therapy and I get X repaired, but still like repeating X over and over again would be strange to me or like, Maybe that's how I would view it. Like, do I want this to happen again? Because I've had some people say like they weren't traumatized by their assault. And I'm like, that's interesting. But then if you nail, like talk to them enough about it, they might get triggered when you talk to them about it, when you question them on that. And then that's the question. Are you getting upset when I question you because you're actually traumatized? Are you getting upset that I'm even questioning you because that's traumatizing, questioning you about it? Because that's quite an anomaly. To be like, yeah, I was assaulted, I was raped, but I don't have any trauma from it. That's a very unique perspective. And that's one that, 
I would love more research on, but I don't think I've ever met that person because every time a person says that to me, they usually get pretty upset as the conversation continues. Yeah, but so it's going to super depend on how you approach it because the way that you're talking true. sounds to me like it would trigger the fuck out of somebody that wouldn't have trauma because you, you're basically insisting true. that like my point of view is the only right one. And if you're giving me a different answer, it's actually just because you don't know yourself. And then you true. would push and yeah. push and push and yeah. push on I, that I, until I, eventually I, the person got triggered. Yeah. I've sure, had someone sure. do that to me about the sleeping stuff. Like people like Abba. You, you don't even realize you're traumatized. And I started getting triggered. Yeah. So like, bro, I, I think I know my experience. Like, no, no, you're broken. And I, and I think I know better. No, shut the fuck up. I just For told sure. you, I'm okay. No, no, no. You need to see a thing. I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, that would piss me For off. Sure. People trying to detail and tell me who I am. That would, that would annoy me way more. Uh, 100%. So that's the thing. I felt that way when Steven was talking initially. So I'm trying to figure out how do we have these conversations without getting triggered? But then it's very difficult because it's like, well, how do you know you're not traumatized unless we look at everything in your life, the way you talk to your partners, the way you do at work, the way you, because you know a lot of people look like they got life figured out, but behind closed doors. I mean, There's all you lot. can do are ask for like maladaptive behaviors, right? So if somebody says and she's like, oh yeah, I don't think I'm traumatized. It's like, oh, interesting. Like, tell me about your personal life. It's like, oh, you know, I would never be friends with a man ever again. It's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. See, right? exactly. When I hear women say, um, like, I hate all men, men's tears. I'm like, girl, go to therapy. And they're like, no. And I'm like, okay. Like, you know you're traumatized. Like, go to therapy. Well, sure, but, but now, that's the thing. Yeah, but now at the yeah. very least, you've got a behavior that you can identify, right? And you can disagree at that yes. point, but it's like, okay. But, like, they like they should know, and they probably do know a little bit. Like, this is probably maladaptive, okay? You're yeah. <clears throat> yeah, I think it's just hard to face yourself. And look, I don't think people have to. Like, lots of people in my life have had, like, insane trauma or, or rather uh, possibly trauma-inducing events. And so they can decide how to feel about it. It's not my job. Just like with my brother, it is not my job because I was pretty upset with him for him on behalf of him at first. And then he told me, do not do that. I am okay. It, I, we're not filing a police report type attitude. So who am I to tell him that he should feel traumatized? And at the same time, I, I wonder all the same, but like I will support his belief around his, uh, his fight. Sure. Like, I mean, that's, you know all you can, I mean? that's all you can do, right? Basically. Yeah, it's, for it sucks, sure. But yeah. And same, the way I define rape might not be universal. So I don't want to, de if somebody else considers something that happened to them rape, like I want to have that conversation. But even then, can we really define rape? Because I feel like we can, but apparently we can't because everyone has a very different definition of it. So now there's like a lot of weirdness in my head about are we having the same conversation or are we putting the same weight in the words when we're having the conversation? Uh, I mean, that, you can just, you know, I don't think that that part is very hard. I think you just define it at the start of the conversation. We say rape, what are we talking about? I think you can do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's one way to do it. Oh, actually, my audience really wanted your definition of rape, Stephen, because they felt like that was the crux of the issue. I don't think it was um, the crux at all, but I, I don't even have a good I, definition yeah. of rape. I don't really care. I would just say, like, unconsensual sexual activity. I, I think getting hung up on the definition being, like, rape and sexual assault and all that is really boring. I don't care. Ooh, remember what I told you, really? I, I said that. I said that. I think it's stupid if someone's like, I was uh, raped. And like, no, actually, you were sexually assaulted. Like, like who the fuck? Well, that, sure. that, that distinction is so autistic to me, and people try to do that all the time. It's kind of like the similar one. It's like, no, no, that's not racism. That was prejudice and discrimination. Yeah. Okay. Good luck with that, buddy. I think the nuance, though, is that these things are different because when you're actually in therapy, they ask you these questions and they ask you to reframe how you see it so you can give yourself like a, a little bit of a reprieve from the pressure of the word you're associating yourself with. I think if they're so, doing like, that, though, they're probably just trying to like deprogram whatever like social stigma is fucking your brain up. I don't think that it's for like, sure. I couldn't deal with this for so long, but then my therapist told me that it was rape. And now that I know the word is rape, now I feel like I can deal with it. It's probably more just like, well, I had a really bad sexual interaction with somebody and for some reason I felt weird about it. And now my therapist told me that was a bad sexual interaction and it's okay to feel bad about it. And now they probably are able to deal with it. That's probably more it. It's not just like fixating on the word. It's just like fixating could, on like the expectations yeah. of what happened. Yeah. Generally, it, it could, the, the fixation on the word is also used to invalidate certain experiences. It could be. Life. Well, it's not as bad as what you think it right. is. Mm -hmm. And also, we, if we're being honest, a lot of these definitions do overlap in a tremendous way. It's not like they're completely separated from each other. So oftentimes when I see those conversations unfold and people are trying to like nitpick at the definition super strongly, it just feels like a disingenuous way well, to kind of, but I, I also see, I now see I'm it. confused because now you guys are saying we can say generally something is worse than the other, but isn't that what you're doing right now by saying we shouldn't decide what sexual assault versus rape because that's what your initial that's no, why no, there's no. confusion. That's not saying whether something's better or worse. It's just like where do we like define some terms, right? The, the, well, the reason why I yeah, get weird about the people f 
freaking out over the rape thing is because like sometimes I'll see this is a Reddit and Twitter thing I see a lot. I don't know if it happens in real life conversations, but people will have a conversation where it's like, I woke up today and my boyfriend was inside of me and we haven't really talked about that. I'm not like a big fan of that. And people are like, You got raped! You have raped and they're like, fucking, it's insane. You need to break up with him, you need to follow a police report. And it's like, bro. Holy shit, calm the fuck down. Um, where people are like rushing to like give the biggest word possible to like make something like catastrophic. And it's like, there's no reason for this. It's absolutely absurd. But on the flip side, like what Brittany said, somebody might be coping really hard and be like, I don't think I was raped. I don't think I was assaulted. Like this guy, you know, I, it was my fault, blah, blah, blah. And having somebody say like, listen, like you did get raped. It's okay to accept that and process those feelings. It's healthier than just saying like nothing bad happened. That could be like the flip side of that as well, you know? Yeah, but even the flip side of like, see my brain and maybe it's just my brain, Here's you say, we should be able to say, generally, what's worse, mugging or rape? But then that's the same thing. What's worse, sexual assault or rape? It's all the same to I, me I, if we're going to start playing the game. No, I think if you want to have that distinction and you want to make those definitions clear on a macro scale, that's fine. But if okay. someone's relaying me an experience, I'm not going to okay. be like, actually, honey, you weren't raped. You were sexually assaulted. Like In that moment, it feels like the most retarded thing to do in that For conversation. For sure, 100. Yeah. Okay, one because because, because there's so that. much overlap, it sounds like you're just trying to discredit what they're going through. Exactly. Right? R rather than, but if you're yeah. asking me, like, are there differences? Absolutely, there are differences. And when it comes to sentencing, when it comes to legal framework, I would treat them differently. But there's nobody, like, people do that all the time, too. When, like, someone's like, well, this person beat me up and said they hated Asian people. Like, actually, that's not racism. That's just prejudice because it was a Samoan part. Like, I feel like oh that God. kind of line of yeah. talk is just very autistic and For stupid. Sure. Yeah, it's not worth having at that point. Yeah. But isn't that why? Oh, go ahead. Random voice. Hi, Brittany. Hi, Hi. everybody. Um, I have a question, and I don't know if this is an insensitive question for some, but I'm very curious what you guys think about this. And I'm sorry if it's already been spoken about. Um, do you guys think that rape from the back versus rape from the front is worse? Um, that's a hard is one this, to is imagine. This, for I mean, sorry. which is worse? Oh my God, sorry. Uh, which one is worse in your opinion? You mean, are you asking us, like, if the dudes look at me in the eyes versus not look at me in the eyes, which one's worse? No, ass rape or pussy rape, which one is worse? <laughs> both are equal for me, I think, because I like both in real life, but I hate both in the context of rape. Yeah. I, you know what? I mean, this is going to sound kind of fucked up, but I know in countries where people try to maintain their virginity really hard, I think vaginal is actually worse. Mmm. There's, uh, there's plenty of women out there who are actually having plenty of premarital sex, but they will not have any vaginal sex ever because they want to maintain their chastity for mm -hmm. marriage. And so I think in those kind of scenarios, that would probably be worse. Outside of that, I don't think it matters. But like physically, it would hurt more to get <coughs> ass raped, but then you can get pregnant if you get pussy raped. I don't, I well, think why... that um, this might come out as really unpopular, but I can defend this to the death. I don't think the physical part actually matters almost at all when it comes to how bad like rape is. I think the physical part is way, way, way down in the list of things that matter. Like the physical trauma from it, like the tearing and yeah, stuff? Yeah, I don't think that bleeding. matters that much, yeah. Oh, it does when you're in the hospital a few days later. The, it, the, <laughs> you getting raped so hard that they're, you're like actually telling you need hospital attention is so un that would be unfathomably rare. That's like some insane shit that's going on. But uh, like you can, yes, what I just said was true. The, the, yes. I it, mean, it, every, it, myself included, but every person I know goes gets do like they go to their doctor and for sure get treated for the cuts and the scarring inside, which I don't have thankfully. But a lot of my female friends have literal scarring inside their vaginas. From their rapes, Bro, so that I, does take some medical care. How did you just allow the female zerker to come in here and just throw this whole shit out? True. I, well, it's an interesting question. Um, <laughs> but, but like, if, if you remove, there's no way you were shitting you on just... fucking zerka, and now you <laughs> think that's an interesting. <laughs> Wait, did you call me the female zerka? <laughs> Hey man, that's what it sounded like. I thought he got you to come up on this live stream and say that shit. No. That sounded like an exact Zerker question. I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I, I think that for rape, I think if you took away all the, this is why I don't like when people bring up like pregnancy or STDs either. If you take away all the physical trauma, and if you take away like the chance of STD or pregnancy from rape, I think it's still basically just as bad. I don't think it affects it almost at all. Like if, if rape is like 100 points bad, and you got rid of like STIs, any pain, and um and the uh, chance of pregnancy, I think it would be like 100 to 99. It would like be very, very, very little, like not as bad, but it would still basically be as bad, I think. Are we assuming the vaginas are wet? Um, Probably not that wet. If you're getting raped, I would imagine. 
Actually, well, you'd be surprised. Happen, actually. A lot of I know it can happen. happen. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like it the happen. most autistic. Qual I know it can happen. You can also come while getting raped. It's possible. But on I'm the just, whole, yeah, you're probably scenario. not going to be as wet while getting raped as you would be in a consensual sexual interaction with foreplay. Otherwise, women wouldn't complain about not having foreplay to get wet before they have sex. In general, you're not going to be as wet getting raped as you are like having a consensual sexual interaction. Well, considering what Zerka said earlier, that 85% of people are... All right, let's just stop. Good one. Let's just stop. Let's just stop. Okay, uh, actually, does, hey, Nino, you want to ask another uh, Zerka question? I didn't mean it to be a Zerka question, and by the way, this is the worst insult I've ever had in my life. It's not an insult. I, I really thought it was a Zerka question. But it, okay, well, actually, I'm curious. Why did you want to know? Uh, I'm just curious what the general population and you guys think about this, like general population, aka uh, Destiny's fans. Yeah, that's all. Way to go. I bet you feel like an asshole now, huh? No, I don't. I don't know. That was a Zerka question, but I stand by that. Okay. Uh, um, I, I want to... Brittany, do you have anything else you want to say on this before I might change it No, please. Go ahead. 